Duke Johnson, the running back. Kaiser gets rid of it while he's hit, and it's incomplete. Three and out, and Terrell Suggs in the backfield to meet the rookie Kaiser. His squad yesterday. Suggs coming with pressure. Kaiser steps up. Now Kaiser on the run. Lost the football. Knocked out by Suggs and scooped up by Matthew Judon. The Ravens defense forces another turnover. They had five a week ago, and the rookie Kaiser coughs it up. Kaiser, plenty of time in the pocket. Five-man rush, nobody open down the field. When you're a great high school player and a great college player and you move into the pros as a rookie, you think that you can get it done physically at that same level. What you have to do, you have to succumb to that thought and say, okay, that clock goes off in my head, get rid of the football. It's run. Kaiser, off the hands. Weddle got a hand on it. Did he pick it? He did! What a catch by Weddle off the deflection. The second turnover forced by the Ravens defense here in the first quarter. I was a member of the San Diego Chargers coaching staff when we drafted Eric Weddle out of Utah way back when in 2007. And he was a jack of all trades at Utah. Played a lot on defense, but a lot on offense. Kind of like struggled. Returns to the field. They'll get it at their own eight-yard line. Crowell on the pitch. And Crowell with nowhere to go. Judon and Urban in on the tackle as we go back to the interception. Now, last year, Hugh Jackson did use Hogan just as a kind of a change-up to run the football a little bit. He's throwing on first down, and that pass is incomplete, intended for Seth DeVal. And Hogan is staying on the field. Okay. Duke Johnson, the running back. Hogan in trouble. He's got to get out of the end zone. He does. There is a flag down. Terrell Suggs finished off Hogan. And if that holding takes place in the end zone. Hogan on the move. Throwing. It's intercepted. Tyus Bowser, the pick. And it's the third turnover today forced by the Ravens defense. The first career interception for the rookie out of Houston. Sometimes the most important thing is just get us to the next down. And Kevin Hogan was unable to do that. He got a little greedy once he got out of the pocket. He started thinking, I can make a play. I can make a play. Just get us to third down at that point. And then, to make matters worse, Kevin Hogan gets near the tackle, and he gets plastered. Like I said, they, one quarterback has a migraine. You don't need your second quarterback up. Once it's gone, he's ready to go. Kaiser gets out of trouble, but still nowhere to go. And he goes down to the ground at the 15. Owasso with good containment. And quickly, Kaiser into a third and long. Now, Andrew, if you, that's getting out of trouble. I want to see what trouble looks yeah. like because it was, yeah, it did look like momentarily it kind of opened. Driving, they've got it at the Baltimore 30. Kaiser pump fakes. Now looking for Coleman, and it's nearly intercepted. Marlon Humphrey, the rookie out of Alabama, nearly had his first career interception. And now Coleman is slow to get up. And with a pump fake, you're also going to draw the eyes of the inside safety that time tony jefferson does a great job block breaking on the ball and also you have to target the receiver in the correct place you can't touchdown last week against pittsburgh he's going to try to run this one in as well but he can't tripped up by tony jefferson great play by the safety out of oklahoma tony jefferson finished his career as an oklahoma sooner and he's sitting there waiting through the draft and Nobody calls. He doesn't get drafted. He goes, plays for the Arizona Cardinals. They appreciate his efforts. But when the Baltimore Ravens go. Come here to Baltimore. Second and goal. Kaiser, good protection over the middle. Intercepted. Picked off by Lardarius Webb. Last week, the Ravens defense forced two turnovers inside.
inside the 10 yard line. And they get another one here against the Browns. Webb the pick. It's Baltimore football. Coach still without a catch this season. Kaiser. Tries to escape and throws it incomplete to Johnson. Guess who? Terrell Suggs nearly had his second sack. And you see him talking to Gene Serratore. He says, you know, when I came into the league, they used to have a rule called in, in the grasp. And that used to be a sack when you had the quarterback like that. No, not, not anymore. Not with big, strong guys like Deshaun Kaiser. John Harbaugh told us, I've never seen 34. His third quarterback hit. It's third and five. Kaiser chased out again, throws, intercepted, Brandon Carr. And Carr goes down at the 35. Turnover number five by the Browns. Second interception this season. Pressure coming, Kaiser kick it away. Tim Williams wrapped him up. And that'll do it from here in Baltimore, fitting the Ravens defense, which has been outstanding to start this season. Puts the icing on the cake against the rookie Kaiser and the Browns. The one thing I, I worry about a little bit with Kaiser is he's off target, not off target, though, but, but kind of out of the pocket. Well, he's getting tackled. He's trying to throw twisting turns.